If you've ever cut yourself shaving before a big job interview and it was legitimately mortifying, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, welcome back to the Soap Thing Project, or if you're new, welcome, and I hope you enjoy the content. And if you do enjoy the content, consider hitting the subscribe button. It's right, right around there somewhere. So, in today's shave, we're going to do Murphy and McNeil Infinitus Cypress. This is part of their Infinitus collection, it is the, like I said, the Cypress scent. And this is in their Kodiak base. I'll put a list of the ingredients across the bottom of the screen for you. But let's take a look at what we got here. We've got duck fat, beef tallow, bear tallow, cocoa butter, goat milk, shea butter, lanolin, jojoba oil. And that's that's about it of all the stuff that I, that I think is interesting. Let's have a smell. Hmm. Now this... There's not much nuance here. It is, uh, I do, it does smell like it's cypress by itself. And cypress by itself is a crisp, fresh, oh, woody, pine sappy sort of thing. Smoky, a little bit. But this one also has the matching aftershave. And when they did their Infinitus collection drop, they did something like two or three dozen scents. I think it was actually three, maybe three or more. But they only did one of each. So the moment I bought this, it became unobtainium. So do keep that in mind uh, as we're doing the shave. I wouldn't want you to get too excited. So but we're going to do a shave. And this is my uh, first encounter with the Kodiak base. Now, full disclosure, Murphy and McNeil is one of my favorite uh, shaving soap artisans, but I have never tried their Kodiak base yet. I've always tried their their Aeon base. That's what all the rest of my soaps are in. So it's going to be a interesting learning experience trying their, their Kodiak base today. So we've got Cypress and the matching aftershave. The razor is going to be one last shave with the uh, Supply 2.0 injector razor before we move it aside and move on to other razors. And I did pick up a, if I can unscrew this, a level two plate. The previous two shaves you've been watching my channel have had the level three, so hopefully we're cooking with gas this time and uh, we can get a pretty, pretty stellar shave with this one. So level two plate on the uh, Supply 2.0 injector razor. We're going to use Schick injector blades. And last but not least, the brush, we're going to use the Omega Evo. And this brush, if you want a synthetic brush that behaves like a badger brush, this isn't cheap. It's between $45 and $55 usually, but uh, this one will retain water really well, and it really behaves like a badger brush. So if you want a badger-like brush, but for whatever reason you, you think you need to have a synthetic, get one of these because it's it is a good good brush if you're looking for that sort of thing. So let's get all this together and let's do a shave. All right, we're gonna try doing a bird's eye view of the lathering process to just test it out and see if maybe this is something we can incorporate into future videos. But here we have the soap inside of the Prayer Shavery Unbreakable Shaving Bowl and the Kodiak Base. Looks exactly like that. I'm not sure if that's focused or not, but we'll see at the end of the video when I when it goes into editing. But I'm gonna take my spray bottle. I'm gonna do the oh, let's do six in this one, and we're gonna start the lathering process. So here we go. The 
this is a very highly rated uh, shaving soap base, at least uh, if you listen to other content creators and other other testers and people who are doing this stuff on forums and on blogs and on social media, they say this is uh, definitely one one high-end uh, lathering experience and shaving experience with the, the Kodiak base, so hopefully that's true. We may not not need any more any more water. It doesn't look like it. It looks like this is gonna be plenty. I suppose I could add just a little bit more. Just to uh, break loose some of the residual soap that's in the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, that's that's a good lather, easy lather. So let's get this shave started. Okay, time to do the shave. Got two days growth on the face today. The scent strength on this, almost forgot, is a two out of three. So moderately scented soap, medium scent strength. We're gonna put a pre-shave on, Prorezzo Blue pre-shave. I'm going to apply that while I am filling the sink full of water and we'll cut to close to the end of that because I'm sure people don't want to hear me running water for 30-40 seconds. So. Okay, let's put some ProRezzo Blue pre-shave on the face. And uh, the Perezzo Blue is the protective variety from Perezzo. It's got uh, aloe and vitamin E, so definitely good stuff from Perezzo. Let's uh, put the uh, Infinitus Cypress on the face. I could see this scent being fairly polarizing. It's definitely got a crisp, pine sappy sort of bite to it. I mean, it is not apologetic about that, uh, the, the bite from the uh, uh, pine sap. I'm not, actually, maybe bite isn't the right word, but it's very, uh, the scent strength is, a, is medium, but that scent is just the in-your-face part part of the scent. I guess that's the best way to describe it. So got the level two uh, supply code 2.0 razor. Let's get this process started. Here we go. Two days growth. Got an ingrown hair right around here that's been lingering for over a week and a half. So hopefully we managed to leave that alone and have a, a nick-free shave. That's always my goal. It is seldom achieved, but that is always my goal. So, uh, let's see here. First couple shaves of this, I had the level three. And I think it was a combination of it, maybe it being a little too aggressive and me having frankly, piss poor shaving habits, <laughs> but it was less than ideal shaves. So this one seems to be feeling pretty good though. I'm 
still binge watching uh, season after season of Unsolved Mysteries. The most recent one I saw was uh, the episode where they made their case that the uh, Zodiac Killer and the Unabomber is the same guy. And it really is interesting how they put everything together and they make that connection. I think his name was Ted Gazinski. He was the he was the Unabomber. This soap is slick. Like I'm about to do do lather up for another pass, but This stuff is slicker than yak snot on glass, I'll tell you what. Oh, let's put some more on and do another pass. So, and they, they seem to be able to dig up evidence to complicate a lot of uh, historical events. Like, there was one episode I watched where they made the case that John Wilkes Booth, the man that assassinated uh, President Lincoln, was not actually uh, killed in 1865, but lived into the early 1900s under under a different name. He escaped and he changed his name, and they lay out all this evidence, and it's just like, huh, that's that's interesting. <laughs> so, oh, where do we want to do right here? For a while, Unsolved Mysteries was free if you had Prime. I'm not so sure if it is anymore, but I own all the seasons, so. Whenever I'm deployed or I'm downrange or TDY, I'll tend to, to download either either Unsolved Mysteries, uh, Two and a Half Men, Everybody Loves Raymond, stuff like that. My two favorite TV shows ever they got killed by the writer's strike years and years ago. It was uh, Shark with James Woods. It was a courtroom drama. That got killed by the writer's strike after two seasons. And then Jericho with uh, Skeet Yulrich, I think is how his last name is pronounced. But that was a good post-apocalyptic TV show that got killed by the writer's strike. All the best shows are getting killed... Killed by that, got killed by that writer's strike uh, years ago. I believe that was 08. So, sucks how that happens, but sometimes, sometimes that's the way it goes. This is feeling like a very pleasant shave. Knock, knock on wood. But... So far, this is a surprisingly above average shave in terms of the the way the razor is behaving and the uh, slickness and hydration. That's how I judge shaving soaps. It is I pretty much narrow it down to a shaving soap has two jobs. One is to provide uh, slickness, so the razor will glide across your face as it cuts, and also to provide hydration, because that makes your hairs thicker and easier to cut, at least from all the reading I've done. And this uh, Kodiak base is doing an awful good job of that. Now, the Kodiak base comes and goes from Murphy and McNeil. It usually is in uh, special edition soaps, which they do a handful of times a year. So, ooh. If you're curious about... Uh, about the Kodiak base, 
and it uh, gets released in a limited edition scent, I would not hesitate to get your hands on some of that. Because this is some, uh, some slick shaving soap. There are very few uh, soap makers that have a base that just stands out as uh, just outrageously slick. But I think this Kodiak base might be one of them. Most soaps, for me, most shaving soaps tend to just blur together. I mean, most of them are very, very good. I, I can't remember the last time I have ever seen a That, that just sucked by its own bad merits. It's usually, when a shaving soap isn't working for you, it's usually an issue of an imbalance of the, of how you lather it and the amount of water you use versus the amount of soap you use. It's usually operator error. I can't think of that many shaving soaps, if any at all, that are, that are just bad on their own. I mean, if they're out there, they're usually uh, somebody just making them out of their garage as a hobby who doesn't take it that seriously, and they don't really realize that it's not that good. Because I've gotten, uh, oh, maybe one or two shaving soaps before. Oh, from from somebody who's just making it locally and trying it as a hobby. Touch up a little bit here. And people are trying to be polite and they don't bother to tell this person, you know, this isn't working very well. So, but usually if you're a shaving soap maker that's been doing this for years and years, you probably got it down to a sign. Okay, that's enough. I could chase uh, BBS all day if I wanted to, but at a certain point enough is enough. So I did get a little nick right there. If there's one thing you can count on the Soap Thing Project, it's a nick or two on most videos. I didn't get any, I don't appear to have gotten any nicks or cuts where I would normally get them. So I think that was just uh, me getting too cocky and confident shaving in a place where I don't normally get them and I just so, so you gotta you gotta pay attention. This, you know, shaving this way is not always autopilot. So, I'm gonna take an Allen block to this, and we're gonna come back for the aftershave and my final thoughts on Murphy and McNeil Infinitus Cypress. Okay, time for the Omega Allen block report card for today's shave. No stinging uh, on this part of the face. Let's go downstairs. No stinging down here. A little bit right there. None right here, even though there's a nick. Sometimes that that happens. I don't <clears throat> I don't get it, but sometimes that happens. Huh? So yeah. Looks like uh, there's a little bit of sting right there and that's about it. So that'll be the uh, Allen Block report card for today's shave. All right, time for the Infinitus Cypress aftershave splash. Shake it up first. Murphy and McNeil. Check them out if you haven't already. A little bit of home alone burn over here. I was wondering if maybe I nicked my ear, but nope. 
Ooh, that was... This stuff smells really good. At least I think so, but I'm into woody scents, so that's, uh, I figured this would smell good for me, so. Infinitus Cypress Aftershave. So, what are my final thoughts on Murphy & McNeil Infinitus Cypress? Oh, this particular scent uh, is in my wheelhouse. Uh, I think this would probably be a little on the polarizing side just because it's a sharp smell. It's a really sharp scent. Maybe I'm wrong. Put it in the comments below if you think you'd like a uh, cypress heavy uh, scents. So, as far as Kodiak Base in general, whenever it comes out, it's always a limited edition soap. So the price fluctuates a lot. So I'm not going to bother uh, giving you the price in the video, all other than to say it's usually under $30 somewhere in the neighborhood of 24 to 29 usually when you can find it so do keep that in mind so those are my thoughts on murphy and mcneil infinitus cypress i want to thank everybody for watching and until next time this is hope thing telling you shave like you mean it thanks for watching